So this is part two. I'm talking about um, there was a new brand ambassador in Victoria's Secret in 2021. Almost as soon as she became ambassador, the tank, the stock began to tank. It lost big majority of its equity. This lady, um, this isn't the first time she uh, worked with another brand that tanked. So specifically, what happened? She took away the angels and hired um, plus size uh, body positivity models. And she changed the marketing and tried to be inclusive, which killed the business brand. So this is another company that's going under for adopting woke practices. Yep. Let's look at it specifically. It says that Victoria's Secret cut 160 management roles and reorganization. Um, uh, Reuters. Uh, Victoria's Secret and company said on Tuesday it had to cut about 160 management roles or 5% of its home office staff and hired former Amazon executive as a part of a reorganization following its separation from L Brands Inc. last year. Um, the company also named executives to three key leadership roles, reporting to Chief Executive Officer Martin Waters. Uh, Amy Hawk who has been heading the company's pink brand since 2018, will take on the additional role of chief executive for Victoria's Secret division, the company said. So, here you go. Fast forward. She swamped and tanked the L brand and also tanked the Victoria's Secret brand. So, this is the new trend. You go woke, you go broke. You, Your business should be catered to the people that buy not through politics politics is is i mean anybody can express themselves but people that just want to buy the product don't necessarily want to be involved in your political shenanigans